Hi, I'm Jennifer Welch, your 2024 ARA president. Earlier this year, NAR reached an agreement in the Sitzer Burnett lawsuit. The settlement was reached in part to protect our members from future antitrust lawsuits. Complying with the settlement is up to each member individually. To comply with the settlement, all references to compensation were removed from the MLS systems and any other data aggregators. Another part of the settlement included requiring agents to enter into a written buyer's agency agreement prior to showing homes to prospective buyers to ensure that buyers understand what services their agents are providing and how much they will be compensating their agents for those services. Throughout this process, the Arkansas Realtors Association has looked at how we can best help our members comply. Since February of this year, ARA's Risk Reduction Committee and an antitrust bag have worked diligently on updating our forms and contracts. We added disclosures, improved transparency to ensure our sellers and buyers fully understand the terms of their agreements, and added a class action waiver for additional member protection. As part of this process, we found that one form that was perhaps underutilized was the multi-party compensation disclosure form. However, since the release of those updated forms and contracts, the form that we've heard the most about is the multi-party compensation disclosure form. So let's break that form down. First, it's important to know that the MPCD form is just that, a disclosure. It is not an addendum, nor is it an instrument meant to be used for negotiating the commission splits between agents. The multi-party compensation disclosure form helps our members make certain disclosures as required by AREC rules 8.5C and D. Rule 8.5C states, when acting as agent in the sale or management of property, a licensee shall not accept any commission, rebate, profit, payment, compensation, or other valuable consideration from any source in connection with the property without full written disclosure to the party represented by the licensee. Let's break this down. If you get paid by anyone who is not your client, you have to disclose it in writing. It really is that simple. Here's an example. If I am representing buyer Bill and seller Sue pays my commission, I am required to disclose that in writing to buyer Bill. Now, there are various ways that I can make that disclosure, but I must make it in writing. The MPCD form does just that. Another example would be if I am representing buyer Bill and the home inspector chosen and hired by buyer Bill gives me a thank you gift. I would be required to disclose that in writing to my client. Moving on to Rule 8.5D, which states, a licensee shall not accept compensation from more than one party without full written disclosure to all parties to the transaction. If you, as the buyer's agent, receive compensation from both your client and another party to the transaction, for example, the seller, you are required to make full written disclosure to all parties to the transaction. Here's an example. If I am representing buyer Bill, and both buyer bill and seller sue pay my commission, I am required to disclose that in writing to both buyer bill and seller sue. Some of our members have asked if placing the compensation in the real estate contract is sufficient disclosure. The answer to this question is, it depends. If the disclosure is clearly enough enumerated in the offer, it could satisfy the requirement for disclosure. However, the multi-party compensation disclosure form was developed for this specific purpose. And for that reason, we encourage our members to use it. Please know, ARA is continuing our efforts to stay informed about the settlement practice changes so that we can supply our members with the most up-to-date information, tools, and resources available. In the meantime, don't hesitate to reach out to us anytime.